Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making hot chocolate. Now, hands down, this is one of my favorite drinks from this cookbook. And this is my normal go-to instead of coffee in the morning. This is a rich chocolate beverage that I'm sure you're all going to enjoy. So, let's get started. All right, so for the ingredients, we need four cups of milk, and you can use either whole or 2%. Then we're gonna need a quarter cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. a quarter cup of granulated white sugar. Now half a cup of milk chocolate chips, or you can use chopped milk chocolate bars like I'm using. Then you need a quarter teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then finally a dash of salt. And now optionally for the hot chocolate, you can use some chocolate syrup, some mini marshmallows or whipped cream for the topping. So to get things started, we're going to place the milk, the cocoa powder, and the granulated white sugar all into a small saucepan or pot. We want to heat this pot over medium to medium low heat. So about 249 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. And you want to whisk this frequently until it's warm and the cocoa powder and sugar have dissolved into the milk. So the mixture may look lumpy for a while, but once you continue to stir it, the cocoa powder will dissolve and you'll end up with a clear mixture, as you can see here. Oh yeah, and don't forget to stir that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned to the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. So once the mixture is nice and smooth, we can go ahead and add the chocolate chips, or if you're using chocolate bar pieces like I am, you can add it to the pot. You wanna whisk that constantly until that chocolate melts and distributes evenly into the milk. And now once that chocolate is melted, we can go ahead and whisk in the vanilla extract. And then you wanna add about a dash of salt. That really brings out the flavor in the chocolate. At this point, the hot chocolate should be just about steaming and it's ready to be poured into whatever cup you choose. So now you can ladle the hot chocolate into the serving cup. And this recipe makes enough to create four eight ounce hot chocolates. But if you just wanna make a single serving, all you need to do is divide the ingredient list by four. And in this video, I'll show you how to garnish it in two different ways. In this first part, I'm gonna use whipped cream. And what I like to do is also garnish it with some chocolate syrup over top of the whipped cream, just to add another layer of chocolate to the mix. And as you can see, this makes a classic hot chocolate, especially for that first thing in the morning drink. It's surprisingly filling and absolutely delicious. Now, another take you can use on this hot chocolate is for those late cozy nights, maybe a cold night over a campfire or in front of a warm fireplace, is to garnish the hot chocolate with marshmallows. And I like using mini marshmallows as they can fill the entire surface of the cup. And larger marshmallows, you can't fit that many into a normal size cup. And just like the other version, I like to add another drizzle of chocolate syrup on the top surface, just to add another layer of flavor to the hot chocolate. So I'd say with the two versions I've shown in this video, one style is for the warmer parts of the year and the other style is for the colder parts. But as you can see, they're both very visually appealing. They both taste amazing and they're super easy to make and I can't wait for you guys to try it at home. And for a tip or variation to this recipe, you can try using almond milk for a healthier option for the hot chocolate. And if you want to change the flavor, you can try adding some cinnamon, hazelnut cream, or caramel sauce. And one more change I can offer is using different variations of chocolate. So you can try using white chocolate, dark chocolate, different variations of milk chocolate. The possibilities are really endless. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 2, Elevating Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description box. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this recipe, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned for next week where I show you to make one of my favorite dishes from Costa Rica, gallo pinto. You don't want to miss this one. Well, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.